as our as Keith Wood there. Paul O'Connell. Control Woody, someone's cry. And the control was lost. Well, I think that's the sort of maul that John Eels was complaining that England used illegally. Well, Keith Wood had three players with no opposition in front of him, trying to control the ball at the back of it. In the end, he dropped it. Plenty of Irish support in the stadium. I haven't hit the heights yet, but whoops. It's that slippery. This time, straight to Mags. Tapped on or just avoided by Horgan. A just goal. Hickey. Advantage being played. Hands on the ground after the tackle. It's uh, Keith Wood special. This one goes on an arc one way, then the other, then goes head for the line. Held up. Three men wide. Who's going to score it? Somebody. And it's finally Eric Miller. Well, he'll be thankful that uh, the tackling was a little bit lax because he had a three or four man overlap. Have they not scored there? He's been kicking himself. Look at the Irish lineup there outside him. There were no Namibian defenders there at all, and only Miller's strength took him through three or four rather flaccid Namibian tackles. So someone who's really felt he's got a point to make, not just tonight, but in recent times. Only six caps in the last 18 months. It did uh, come back with a vengeance in the summer preparatory internationals. Eric Miller scores his fourth try for Ireland. His first in this World Cup, his first appearance. Two more points for Rona Nagara, kicking machine. Ireland have riches aplenty in the back row. When you think... Players like David Wallace left behind. See Anthony Foley, Victor Costello, all these fellows not featuring tonight. Well, Costello on the bench. 